hair and makeup experts out there. So we thought, let's give you a chance to ask our experts some questions. Tracy Peart joins me now <laughs> with some questions about skincare and winter. I'll give you number one, Trace. Are there makeup products I should put away for the winter? For example, an illuminating highlighter. I'm worried looking dewy in the winter looks a little artificial. A little okay. fakey fake. Well, I actually think it's kind of the opposite. I think in the summertime, we kind of, because of the heat, we kind of have a natural glow, right? right? So we have a less need for things like illuminators and shimmery highlights and stuff like that. It's actually yeah. in the winter time where I think we look really dull and we our skin needs a little extra oomph, something to make it look a little bit more healthy and glowy. So it's yeah. actually the opposite in in my opinion. Totally. Now, are we going to look artificial if we look like a shiny, like you know, disco ball in the middle of a blizzard? Yes. Yes. Yeah. We are going to look like one, right? And we're okay with that. But the way to avoid looking too overdone is yeah. to just, it's all in your application, okay? So make sure when you get one of these highlighters or the shimmers that you're not putting it all over your face. Mm -hmm. That's when you're gonna look like the Tin Man, yeah. okay? You just wanna put, you just wanna highlight it right here and down the bridge of your nose and you're good to go. Okay, so take it easy with the highlighter. Here's another one for you. With the winter comes dry skin, as we have talked about. I've noticed fine lines forming because of it. It makes me look a bit older. I apply moisturizer, but it doesn't seem to work. What am I doing wrong? It sounds like what she's doing wrong is she's not, like she's she's doing like a band-aid solution, right? So she sees the fine lines and wrinkles and then she adds like, you know, uh, moisturizer and sees it again and adds moisturizer, but she's yeah. not really getting to the root of the issue. She should be using a moisturizer that actually has like anti-aging benefits in it, okay. okay? So Palmer's has a great product and it's called Skin Therapy Oil. And what it is is an age-defying multi-purpose skin perfecting oil. Okay. Okay, it's, it's a good, it's gonna definitely get rid of, it has powerful, anti-aging um, benefits in it, so ingredients. So it has retinol mm -hmm. and vitamin C. These are things that are gonna help with um, lessening the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines and, and um, moisture in the skin as well, right. right? It's gonna really help smooth everything out. Because we know that's what we need as we get older. You wanna add moisture, moisture, moisture. Yeah, it's gonna firm and tone the skin as yeah. well, helping to kind of turn back the clock. And it's never too early to start using it, right? right. I really suggest that women who are younger, even teens use this product oh, really? right because what you want to do is God, you, I miss the boat yeah we all miss the boat <laughs> right what you don't want to do is like late, what happens though. is we yeah, it's never too early because what happens is we we get we get the um, we start to see fine lines and wrinkles then yes. we try to fix it then right yeah. the point is to try and avoid all these problems in the first place as yes. much as we can without stepping into a time machine right right be preventative about be it be preventative like about it okay during the winter my skin gets so dry that it actually peels and flakes off that is dry making it impossible possible for makeup to be applied. How can I prevent this? Okay, so what she's going to want to do is uh, she's going to want to exfoliate her skin at least once a week, right? right. And uh, there are a lot of really great um, natural solutions for this, but one of my favorite concoctions is a coconut oil and um, sugar. So two yes. tablespoons of coconut oil, one tablespoon of sugar, mix it together, put it on your skin, rinse it off. Now yeah. your skin has been stripped, right? So you want to make sure you're adding a, a, moisture, a, a moisturizing cleanser so you don't dry out the skin even further, mm -hmm. okay? So this is where we're going to go into the uh, skin therapy cleansing oil. Okay. It's definitely going to not strip the skin and it's going to moisturize the skin as you're cleansing it, right? It. It's also non-comedogenic. Don't be afraid of these products. People are gonna say, oh my God, they have oils in them. Oh my God, it's gonna clog my pores. It's actually not, okay? So they're actually really light uh, formula. Mm -hmm. So you can just see, Tracy, you can just dab a little bit on yourself yeah. as well. You're gonna see it's a really light formula, mm -hmm. okay? It's, not, it's also non-comedogenic. What non-comedogenic means is that it's not going to clog the pores. Got it. It's also hypoallergenic and um, paraben-free. So they're both work in conjunction with each other. This is okay. the cleanser, this is the oil afterwards, so don't be afraid they're non-comedogenic. I would never be afraid. I'm like oil all day, <laughs> head to toe. <laughs>